your coffee, Mrs. Barnwell. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, that just reminds me of Deidre. Well, at least you don't associate it with Tracy. True. <laughs> Look. You old romantic. Hey, don't talk to me about romance. 100 quid Sally wants to spend on a flipping wedding cake. 100 quid. Not to mention all the money that I owe Steve and Kev. Oh, have you suggested doing it on a budget? I committed big in me, Dad. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get this, bud. You OK? Maybe she's upset because you brought us to your local greasy spoon the morning after your wedding. Mm. Oh, well, there's no other guests. They're over, so Jenny never had anything in. Thank you. I miss Shona. Look, talk to Bethany. She doesn't want to talk. Well, when has that stopped you? Look, I can't lie and pretend that I'm OK with it. No, but if you're not talking to her, then you're not going to be there for her when it all falls apart. Which it will. Yeah, probably. OK, so what am I meant to do? Am I meant to sit back and just pretend that it's all OK? No, you talk to her and I'll talk to Daniel. I mean, it can't go much worse than it did with Grandad. Hello, Daniel. Oh, yeah. You managed to find some brekkie? I took her to Roy's and told her she could have whatever she wanted. Money, no object. You old smoothie. Couple of pints of IPA, please. Uh, the dog for the groom's party, is it? Yep. I'll get these. You sure you want to be drinking again? Yes, I'm sure that I want to be drinking again. Come on, I won't be here when you get back from your honeymoon. One for the road. OK. Hey, got a boy. Want to see my new wedding ring? Straight up your street, Auntie Gold. No, oh, pass, thanks. Had a good chat with Carla about you yesterday. Yeah, good for you. The things those corner girls talk about. And? No, I'm just making conversation. Hey. Are you ever going to leave him alone? Not until he's buying bars. Here he is. I thought you said one for the rope. Yeah, I did, but, you know, you heard what Johnny said. Air of the dog. To new starts. New starts. Probably. <coughs> Probably. What, you having second thoughts? No, I'm not. But I'm thinking that she might be. Everyone's saying how wrong it is that we're together, and... Maybe she started listening. Hey, Johnny, can we get the same again, please? Except he's paying this time. Make man a diet coke. You on a mission or something? You got something better to do. What? Right, I'm not going to nag you like the others. If you want a drink, let's drink. But while you're getting legless, maybe just weigh up your other options. Like what? Like keeping it long distance. Just for now, let it settle in for a few weeks. Well, that's what she suggested. Well, then. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Everyone's telling her that she's making the biggest mistake of her life for being with me. But what if everybody's wrong? And if we're wrong, well, at least we're doing what feels right. OK, you've lost me now. We want to be together. Everything feels right when we are. You said she's having second thoughts. Yes, because people keep telling her that I'm incapable of being with her this close to Sinead. And do you blame them after yesterday? Oh, I really tried yesterday. Come on, I tried. I know you did. Yeah, and I messed up. And now she's worried that I can't commit to her. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I don't know about that. I've saying that you'd move yourself and your baby son hundreds of miles to live with her sounds like a pretty big commitment to me. Yeah. There is an even bigger one, though, isn't there? I could ask her to marry me. 